Now let's come to the uh, floats, installation of floats. You will have four pieces of the floats. Each is one, two halves of the floats. So basically, two half of the floats. There are few dimples here. So where you just, you can't go wrong with it. There's only one way it can be fixed. Similarly, you have these. Now there is no way you can, uh, you, can you, you can interchange, but just make sure that the sticker ones, there are one side there is a sticker and the other side there is no sticker. So the non-sticker side is towards the inner side of the floats. The outer side of the float is the sticker side. So take one with the sticker and take one without the sticker and fuse it together. One. This becomes, as I said, this is the outer side and this is the, the inner side doesn't have a sticker. So this becomes the left side of the float. This is the left float and similarly, this is the right float. As I said, the outer side is a sticker. And inner side, there are no stickers. Now, coming to the parts. Now, these are all the parts what is needed for the floats. There are two axles. Two, and there are two gears which are holding the uh, floats. And a lot of acrylic cut part, laser cut parts which is already inside. So I'm going to start opening this and just spreading it out. So let's see what, what is here. Now these are all the parts what you see in the floats, floats pack, a lot of acrylic, a couple of uh, collets, there is a hinge. So how does it all go in? Okay. Now let's take the left side float for instance. Okay. Now if you see there are grooves now take one of each design as I said there are two of same designs here take one of each design okay and this is where you see the grooves here yeah you see the grooves now this is where one landing gear goes. Please note the orientation. This, the holes is to be, is to be towards the inner side or towards the front. Okay, not towards the back. This is wrong. This should be towards the front. This side and as I said take the other piece and this also should be towards the inner side. That is not towards the front, but this in the front should be towards the rear side like this. Here also you have grooves and this goes in and sits here. So the best thing to do is, here I would use a 5 minutes epoxy or a Sino. Just put some Sino here and stick this. And again here Sino here and stick it. Now after this is dried. I would use, uh, yes, right. do not use a 5 minutes epoxy or, or anything or use a normal epoxy, standard epoxy which will dry, which will dry for uh, you know like a overnight drying epoxy. Take that epoxy and liberally brush it all towards this, oh, sorry, also on the left side of the floats 
you have these two this is the rudder so this part you see this part and there are two holes the dimples they should go in please again note the thicker part of the acrylic should be outwards and the thin part should be inwards please do not install it like this of course it will not it will be protruding out like this but there's only one way it will go in and it will be in line with the in the floats okay this one here same thing apply cyano and push it in here these two parts are ready we will talk about the rudder a little later and after applying epoxy over the whole thing your floats your left side floats should be stuck here and just put some rubber bands or something because it's a slow drying epoxy so just put rubber bands here so it dries without shaking just leave it overnight and similarly with the with the right side this is the right side again i have the same this will go to the inner side sorry this will go to the inner side here and the longer one will go towards the rear and the holes will come to the inner side not towards the front and there is again this piece this acrylic piece which goes in here again put some cyano here cyano here cyano here and stick it and once this is stuck again take a epoxy th uh, 30 at least a minimum of 30 30 minutes epoxy or an overnight drying epoxy a slow curing epoxy put all through the sides and both the sides and let's stick and let it cure overnight this is how it will be now after you have done both these uh, floats let me come to the section where you need to install the rudder after you assembled both sides of the floats this is how you should have and please take the two landing gears which is included in the box and that's why these that's why these holes are given which which you stuck earlier the acrylic sheet just make sure that the these landing gear goes inside those holes both the sides the front and the back okay and as i said the pre production model uses the collets but the next versions will have a threaded part so all you have to do is put uh, nuts here and put a nylock nut this side so it is firm and these are the two axles which i told you which is just holding both these uh, floats together which will give you enormous strength to the floats and again these also will be uh, threaded you can use uh, nuts but for now if you don't have threaded rods then you can you can use collets now coming to the rudder now for ground handling you have the tail wheel and the rudder but here for water handling this is the rudder while the model is in the water this this so much portion is inside the water and this will help you steer while during taxiing in the water now how do you make this it's very simple this piece as i said was already stuck in the model let me just show you that piece here it is now this is the piece which was stuck earlier in between these two holes now this is how it is yeah. now now you take the rudder okay and you have this there's one long screw bolt the bolt goes all the way here like this and there's one nut again here please use thread lock little and you don't have to literally tighten this very much it should just be snug that's it it should still rotate freely after rotating freely you see these three holes here 
is one, two, three. This will align itself. Please put. There are uh, small screws and uh, nuts which is available in the landing gear uh, floats package but unfortunately I'm missing them here. The screws goes in from here and these are small nuts which hold it the other side. And this side you have similar three, three holes and you screw it in. Similarly you have three more bolts and you have three nuts you just squeeze it in and this is how you have a rudder. Now where the servo goes for the landing gear, I'll come to that. After you have assembled the floats and the rudder part for the floats, this is how it should look like. As I said the outer parts have the, uh, the stickers and the inner part do not have the stickers. Now take the model, now in your, uh, in your landing gear assembly you should have a piece like this. This is where the servo will be mounted for the floats, this is for the floats rudder. And the hinge which I told you which is already mounted and this is how you mount the, the hinge part, you see. I have put the bolt through this side and the nuts from this side so it's holding. Now to come, as I said there are two slots for the landing gear. Now if you are going to use only the wheel landing gear, you put it in the front. That I mentioned earlier, right? Now, but if you are using the floats, you will be using both these slots. So very simple. This goes in like this. Now make sure that the, the rudder is at the rear of the model, not at the front. Okay, This is how the model should look once installed. Now after you have installed the landing gear, the servo mount which also works as your landing gear arrestor will go in like this and there's another piece which is which is used with the your normal landing gear take that and with the groove the more groove here that goes inside this is how it is held after you install the servo mount and the landing gear arrestor take the 15 mm screws and screw it in all the way in so this should hold the floats and also in the front. This also should go all the way in. Also, guys, take another 10 mm screws, which is again in uh, it's which is in the floats package or in the landing gear package. This, these small 10 mm screws. Drill a small pilot hole onto this plastic and the in the bottom plastic. See, there are plastic here and here. Mm -hmm. Pilot hole here and a pilot hole here into the plastic, and screw in these two small screws so it doesn't come out. The floats rudder is not uh, in, the, in the package. You will have to buy an extra servo for this. So after you purchase an extra 9 gram servo, you can install here and the Teflon tube with a landing gear uh, wire. So what you can do is you see this You see the four holes here, this is where your control horn is going to go. So you go back to the control horn and in the control horn you have one lock and one the control horn. So you can 
it, this comes from inner side so make sure that your control horn is towards from the inner not the outer like this you see the holes are perfectly matching and you have the control horn like this you have a tube coming all the way here which I don't have it ready right now but it's no big deal the servo, the teflon tube and the Z bend goes in here and the servo will have the screw lock connector and the servo movement will activate the rudder left and right and it should turn your model in the, in the, in the water that's it guys I guess everything is almost sorted out you have done the elevator installation, rudder installation, servo installation. Oh yes, now the, there is already a Wolf, Wolfpack 30 amps ESC included in the uh, model. Now all you have to do is, you don't need to program this, the ESC too. The, the ESC comes pre-programmed. All you have to do is the throttle uh, calibration. So... I guess and, the, and there's a battery bay here there's enough amount of space for you to install the battery here with the velcro and, and it's still far away from the servos and one good thing in this Spicer for V4 is you can install all your electronics and the receiver underneath so it looks very neat only the battery comes on top there's nothing else which is uh, protruding out and once your wings are ready all you have to do is take the carbon fiber tube insert it in the wings and slide the wings in that's it you don't have to do anything else please do not stick the wings to the fuselage otherwise you will not be able to remove them and you will have to transport it with the wings on so the wings are quite strong and once put inside fits snugly in so I don't think you should have any problem with it at all so this is how the wings installed model looks like here I have taken the wires from inside which comes in and the Y connector is already provided in the packet I just put the Y connector here got it down from underneath the wood and that's it the installation looks very clean and neat there's nothing here except for the battery which is going to come on top of the wood that's it and once in the canopy just locks in and is all ready to fly that's it guys hope you enjoyed watching my video as much as I enjoy doing this video uh, we will be flying this uh, model very shortly and uh, we'll be doing a review on the flight characteristics also very soon so I guess uh, we'll be seeing you soon with another video of uh, the RC Bazaar Sky Surfer V4, V4 flying videos thank you and fly safe bye bye